Hello all. Uh, welcome to the hardware introduction section. So these two are our end products of our project. So this is our vehicle one, this is our vehicle two. We are trying to do vehicle to vehicle communication. So in this, um, we are using a pretty simple chassis. This has two wheels in here and one caster wheel. So we have two DC motors that are being driven by a motor driver, L293D motor driver. And the wheels are connected with the rotary encoders here. As you can see, when the wheel is moving, the encoders are also moving. So these encoders are connected to this sensor here. This is the opto sensor, which measures by the movement of the encoder that how much distance the wheels have traveled, as in the how much rotations the complete vehicle has made. So this is how we get the distance of this vehicle that it has traveled. The next thing is the Arduino. So we are powering up the Arduino with this 9 volt battery. The another 9 volt battery is used to power up our motor driver. And this is our gyro sensor. This is MPU 6050, which is used to um, kind of giving a feedback mechanism to our system internally as in which direction, at which angle the vehicle is moving. So based on this feedback, we are trying to um, make the vehicle go straight, either take left or right as per the coordinates given by Bluetooth. So since these two vehicles are identical, so we have the same thing here. This we have kept at the right at the beginning so that it can have like the exact position where it can measure the uh, pretty accurate measurement of the angle where the vehicle is moving. So the next thing is, the interface by which the vehicle is communicating. We have two interfaces. One is via Bluetooth. This is the Bluetooth module. So the Bluetooth module is used to get the coordinates from the user. So uh, the user can give the inputs um, by, by the phone um, as in terms of how much distance to be traveled in uh, forward direction and left and right. So this all coordinates are given with the help of this Bluetooth module. So the next thing is this wireless module, NRF24L01, which is used to communicate um, between vehicle to vehicle. So here we have this one. So both these are used to communicate. So we'll be showing um, how it works in the demo. So let's make these vehicles go on the demo and let's see how they perform. So welcome to the demo. So this is a... Um, complete classroom that we have transformed to make a road map kind of a layout. So we have tried to make it real. We have few buildings, some intersections, stop signs and stuff. So uh, this is our vehicle one. And this is our vehicle two. Let me zoom in. Yes. So uh, now this is the intersection where uh, we're going to test the vehicle to vehicle communication. So vehicle one and vehicle two, they are supposed to uh, come to this intersection and whichever vehicle reaches the intersection first, it will be um, getting the way or, right of way to move uh, forward first and then followed by the other vehicle. So vehicle one also has the Bluetooth uh, capability, which uh, helps the user to give the coordinates to this vehicle and the vehicle follows those coordinates and reaches to the destination point. So we have marked the destination. So the uh, coordinates are given in a, um, in the form of distance, like how much distance to be followed in the forward direction, then right and then left. So after following this, this is the point where our vehicle has to reach. So let's give the coordinates. So we are giving the coordinates in terms of distance by this phone. So here our vehicle starts. At the intersection, vehicle two reaches first, so it has given it has been given the right of way first, and then this is the vehicle that reaches first, and the vehicle two follows the coordinates as what were given by the Bluetooth. These are the logs that we are seeing on the screen. So hence the vehicle has reached the destination. This is a case two where vehicle is. Uh, going on a straight road and there, there is no vehicle at the intersection. So uh, it is waiting at the intersection for like two seconds and if there is no other vehicle, it moves forward. So you can see even though there is no uh, feedback mechanism uh, by the side, the vehicle is going straight. 
and uh, is kind of following the direction that has been given by Bluetooth. So this is happening with the help of the gyro sensor. The gyro sensor gives the angle at which the vehicle is driving and uh, taking that as a feedback, we are continuously um, managing the uh, speed of the wheels and trying to, trying to make the vehicle go as in the direction in which uh, the coordinates has been given. So this is our demo. Thank you so much.